Parkway Systems with another video. We are starting this video off at the junkyard. The reason why we're here is because this is the Q50. As you guys, if you guys didn't know, the Q50, Q60s they actually have the same suspension components. So I actually need, I'm on this Q50, I need these rear struts. Believe it or not, I need the stock rear struts because um, I need the top hat that's on top of this, but I'm just gonna take both struts, I might as well. Because I need this, because I'm gonna be converting the other Q60 back to stock, and I'm gonna be putting the coilover that's on that Q60 onto my Q60. But I forgot, one of the cars I had, I forgot which one, but basically I had to reuse my top hat on those, um, the stock struts when I sold a car. So my, the ones that came with the Q60 that I'm selling, I just don't have them no more. So I'm, I have to, I had to either, buy some brand new ones or go to the junkyard and find some and luckily we found some so this is what we're doing about to take apart this shit right now um if you guys don't know how to take this off basically you pull the chair up the sitting the part where you sit on you rip it up and then there's some bolts right here boom and there's a few right here this is only for the 2014 2015 i believe 2016 models 2017 you can fold the chair down and get access to those bolts back there but yeah Wait, mar behind me I don't think y'all can see, but my boy just got the carbon hood. What? Ah, I had to show you guys. He just put, he, he just got the carbon hood on his Q60. Sexy. That is so sexy. Number two. So I sold on that G. It's crazy. I saw all my homies it. <laughs> so he's actually about to be installing a, a white pipe he needs for his car. It's clean, man. That car was a one owner vehicle as well. Super clean. Looks good. And uh homies <laughs> <laughs> here. So they're about to install this white pipe for Edgar on his G. And then I'm about to get started on the coils, taking the coils off the old Q60, because uh, we're going to be taking these and obviously putting it on the red sport. And then getting going. These look the uh, struts that we just picked up. And then as you can tell, these are the old ones. I don't have the top hat, as you can tell. So we need that. And then I also picked up the spring compressor, because you need that too, in order to push the in, in order to get the top hat on correctly. So, yep. Several days later. Guys, so it is now the next day. Uh, we got the queue here. Mar went ahead and put my Nismos on for me, so we took it off there. So he put these on for me. Um, but this wheel gap is so hideous. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna make sure I get the coils on today. I'm gonna do it right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to give you guys a little step by step, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Doing this at home, just make sure you guys lift up the car. It's actually a lot easier to put the car on Jack's hands because you can get in and out of the car. Doing it on a lift, if you're at a shop, is actually a lot harder because these little arms right there, they actually get in the way and then you can't open the door all the way. So this way you're able to open it and you can get out this exterior, um, exterior piece, or interior pieces out a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just push your seat up all the way. I'm gonna do that on both sides and then we'll start taking apart the exterior. One eternity later. All right, guys. So we finally got one of the rear struts out. And I do have the DDS um, for the strut. Just look at this. Like, look at all the work you have to do just to get to the strut. I didn't film it because one, I'm recording on my phone. I don't have my camera with me, so I don't have like my tripod to set it up and show you everything. But oh my goodness, you gotta take out all this trim pieces, the rear part. And then to get the actual strut out itself, it's low-key a bitch. So you have to use a pry bar to basically pull the strut off of right there. That's why you can see the little marks. You have to put this pry bar like this and pry off the thing. But yeah, so we got one strut out. The rear is the hardest part to do. The fronts are easy because it's just like a 370Z slash, you know, G37. But yeah, but man, I hate doing this. Honestly, you couldn't pay me to do this for your car. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm about to lower right now. I'm sorry, I didn't record it. It's cause 
it just got too much and I wasn't able to record everything. So I just said, forget it. Um, but let me go ahead and lower it. We just got done with everything and it already looks amazing. I'm gonna have to go ahead and later and adjust the height and everything. But for right now, we're gonna be good to go. All right, so I'm gonna try to find something to mount you guys on so you can see me lower it completely. Gosh, look at the fitment. Honestly, I got off the blocks real quick too. But other than that, the back is perfect. I thought it was gonna be too low. Or I raised it up a little bit in the back. It's like the perfect height. I love it. Perfect in the back. And let's check out the Acubonos. I'm so happy I have the Acubonos in the rear now. That's what I was missing on this Q60. Cause we, did, we upgraded the Acubonos in the front, but I didn't have them in the rear. So super excited. Woo! Now this is a proper thing. Perfect. So I'm gonna I'm back it out because I don't have a front lip right now. So we should be good to go. That's the only thing that's next. Front lip, carbon mirror caps, and then the sequentials, and then side skirts. And then after that, we're chilling, man. Whoo, super excited. Oh my goodness. That's so crazy how much lowering your car does to the appearance of it. This thing looks so much better. It looks so fire. This color combination is freaking fire. Let me zoom out a little bit. Wow, bro. Just lowered in wheels. That's literally what this car has. Lowered in wheels and looks amazing. So, oh my goodness. And the fitment is actually perfect. I adjusted them a little bit. So it's like perfect in the rear. That's perfect. I'm not gonna lower. I might even raise it. And then the front, it is pretty low in the front, but I might raise it because I'm gonna get bigger tires eventually. But for right now, this is perfectly fine. It just looks so aggressive. Like, oh, look at that. Dang, bro. Fire combination. White with the red, with the blue, the red guts. Yeah, I had some. <laughs> But yes, sir. But let me hurry up. I promise I'll take my girl out to dinner. So I'm low key late. I know she's gonna be mad. So I'll be, I'll pick this video up tomorrow. Oh my goodness, so cool. What if I wrap the IPL this color? You guys like it? If I wrap the IPL this color? <laughs> what is that, you guys? It is now the next day. Uh, I'm actually at my parents' house right now because my mom is doing a birthday party for her. But uh, this is the perfect time. I just realized it. One, I want to show you guys how clean this thing looks. Slam on the Nismos, like perfect. The white color, it just, it just brings out Mac blue so well. Look at that. Like my car is completely dirty right now and it looks fire. So, wow. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys. So this is the Q60, obviously, that we just picked up. And this is my 280Z, believe it or not. Uh, my grandma actually gave me this 280Z, uh, stick shift, five speed. Look at that, super clean, all original. And I just have not showed you guys on the channel yet. So I want to fix this thing up, man. That would be so dope. But the interior though, like this is where the monocle red come from. <laughs> OG material. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, super clean. Oh man, all right guys, I realized I did not end um, the video, but wow, it's crazy how much. Just literally dropping the car, picking the right amount of wheels. The right wheel just makes such a big difference on the car. Looks so good. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, you guys. Um, make sure you guys tune in. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more to the car as well. On the next video, I'm gonna be installing my front lip and then the carbon mirror cap, so. Um, I am super in love with how it looks now. God, that wing is so perfect. Look at that. Sheesh. Super good. And then we're going to get the exhaust. We're good to go from there. So, yeah, that interior. So fire. Oh, I love it. 
Oh, I love it, you guys. Super, super clean, man. But yeah, you guys, that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys like it, please leave a thumbs up, man. Definitely got more content coming soon with the Red Sport. Got the old Q60 right there. My boy Brandon is actually gonna be buying that, so shout out to him. Uh, so it's gonna be his first Q60. So it feels so good to be able to do this, you know, for people and help people out, you know, get the cars that they want. So that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.